Welcome to Earth Engine tutorial episode 39. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create time lapse animations of Landsat uh, satellite imagery and uh, also normalize different uh, indices, for example, uh, NDVI and NDWI. Okay, let's get started. So, first, you need to go to uh, my GitHub repo to download the notebook example. So, once you get into the uh, GitHub repo, click examples notebooks and scroll down to see number 39 and you can click the lower button uh, right click save as uh, you can save this one to uh, your uh, downloads uh, directory or any other uh, directory you want and okay so it's downloaded to my downloads folder then you can open your terminal and just type Jupyter notebook uh, or we need to uh, activate the contact environment and then just click uh, open the Jupyter notebook I'm going to maximize the uh, notebook so uh, this is the example we're going to go through uh, you can scroll down to see the source code you will see the, the source code is quite um, complicated uh, essentially in this uh, Jupyter, we are trying to create uh, all kinds of interactive uh, widgets so that you can accept user input. And um, I don't have time to go through the, uh, each individual code block, but I'm just going to quickly execute all the source code and then just to show you what the outputs uh, look like. So if you want to execute all the source code, uh, you will see from here, uh, we have the uh, input of the libraries and then create the interactive map. And after that, we create all kinds of uh, uh, widgets. For example, title. Uh, this is something that allow you to change the settings when uh, you create the time lapse. Um, since it's like too many, I'm just going to just hide all the source code. And in here right now, you see kind of a uh, clean view of all the widgets. And here, this is the uh, interactive map. And this is all the interactive uh, widgets. Uh, if you want to learn how to create something like this, then you can look at my source code. But for this example uh, tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can utilize uh, the app, um, not the source code. So as you can see from here, uh, at the beginning here, I show you some uh, steps uh, how to create the time lapse. And so the first one is to just to zoom to any location uh, you like. And you can also click the um, icon here to search for any location by name, uh, longitude or latitude. Okay, and once you find the location, then you can click the draw, uh, drawing tools here to draw a rectangle. After that, you can just change the parameters in here, and then you will be able to um, create something, um, uh, time lapse animations. Here, I also provide two apps in here, uh, the first one and the second one. So the first one here, uh, if you click, uh, it will open um, the. The app so this one uh, I deploy in uh, into a uh, Heroku uh, and, and if you want to learn how to uh, basically it turns the Jupyter notebook into a standalone web page and this is something after you execute it's the same like after you execute the uh, Jupyter notebook and you can turn this one into uh, an app so if you want to learn how to uh, uh, deploy those uh, to uh, Jupyter notebook to the web. You can look at my other tutorial. I believe this number uh, 27 and number 28. Uh, so you can take a look at oh, oh, number 26. So Heroku, how to deploy the uh, Jupyter notebook to the Heroku server so that you can host that one on the web, just like something in here. So you have a URL you can send to anyone. Um, if as long as they have the internet, they don't have to have uh, OS Engine account. They don't have to install anything. Uh, just open the browser and then they will be able to execute uh, the source code and sometimes when you go to the uh, click the link you might see this one uh, just want you to be aware because i'm using the free uh, web service so if too many people are visiting the app um, the server might be overloaded and in that case i have to uh, restart uh, um, the the server and then just to clean up all the temporary uh, files and then the the application will be up and running again i also have the other backup link in here uh, if you click this one uh, it's called um, uh, angle rock so this one actually is hosting on my local computer uh, it's the same but uh, you can 
uh, again you can check number 28 uh, to learn how to deploy that one to uh, uh, using Angular. so you can use your local computer as a server so and to host the uh, Jupyter notebook okay so next i'm going to just quickly show you how you can utilize this app and and so, so the first step is to figure out the location keep it in mind this is for uh demonstration you, you don't want to create a time lapse for a large area because there's a lot of data that you need to process so i'm going to quickly show you uh, how to use this first uh, you want to search location for example i want to find out LOC, and once you hit enter uh, you should be able to uh, search location and then you can close the button so after that uh, for example i'm interested in the changes of the uh, LOCs in here uh, all you need to do is just draw a rectangle so for example i want to just see the uh, the water area and we can click uh, just draw a rectangle after that uh, you can change the settings in here so i can say uh, LOC and you can select the bank combination okay um i'm going to just keep this one by default the frames per second basically when you create the animation uh how many frames do you want in one second so if it is 10 that means uh this is annual uh, image so basically one second is going to show uh 10 images and if you want to be slower you can change the lower number if it's one basically one second one frame uh, basically one second one image so i'm going to use just 10 and this one here apply f mask to remove cloud shadows and snow uh, you want to keep this one uh, by default unless you're interested in seeing uh, glaciers or snow or shadow changes uh, you might want to remove the clouds and, and shadows also i'm going to keep this one start year and year right you can change all the way from 1984 to uh, 2020 you can also change the start months and end months okay um sometimes if you just want to see the changes uh for each summer then you might want to uh, reduce this one for example six to eight or nine or something like that uh, in this case i'm just going to use from may to uh, september uh, no, uh november and the font size is when you have labels uh, how big you want to be you can adjust this one if you want you can also change the color okay so uh, in this case for example i can change to red color and the progress bar you can also change the color i'm just keep uh, by default if you don't change uh, select anything in here uh, here will be empty so in the first example i'm just going to keep this one basically we don't want to create any normalized difference we just want the original lens set uh, time lapse animation then we can just hit, click uh click the button okay so it might take a couple of seconds maybe 10 20 seconds um let me uh, i will pause in here and we okay now we have the uh, animation so if you scroll down here uh if you want to download this one you can just click this uh, link in here to download this one to your uh, local computer so they can share with uh, uh, anyone or on social media you can also turn the uh, layer controls in here uh, so this is the time lapse uh, the draw feature is, is basically the rectangle that we just draw and also the source location okay so as you can see uh, pretty nice you don't need to write any line of a uh, code and then you can create an animation like this so this is the first example next i'm going to show you the other example uh that we if you want to create some uh time lapse animations but also with some uh, normalized difference index uh, you can do that as well so uh, you can scroll or zoom in to any location you like uh, in this case i'm just going to uh, for example in this uh, location uh, in pool uh, i want to do that similarly i can draw a rectangle uh, maybe somewhere in here right and so for this one uh, i can just say uh, river dynamics i can change the bank combination so if you're interested in rivers uh probably this color might be a good uh choice uh so this is the first natural color composite and i'm gonna keep this one by default uh remove mask and the start months and end months i'm going to use the entire year uh for this one i can change it back to maybe uh white color so next um 
in here i'm going to use the modifies uh modify water index uh so once you select this one it's all going to automatically pop up these two bands so the basically green minus uh so wave ingrate divided by the sum of these two and you can also switch uh adjust this threshold so for example i can change to this a point uh point one and the color so basically after you extract the water so this is the normalized uh, water index the the value will be uh, ranging from negative one to one and so the closer to one the more likely uh, it's going to be water pixel and so you can adjust this one uh, you can also change the color if you want after that uh, all you need to do is just uh, create uh, click the button uh, it should go through the similar process but this time we add an additional uh, step basically to create another time lapse imagery including uh, the water index okay it uh, took almost uh, 30 40 seconds to create these two time lapse animations if you scroll down to the end you'll be able to see uh, the link hyperlinks in here you can click the link and to download these two animations to your local computer on the right here you can check the uh, the uh, layer control you can turn this on and off so this is the original uh, time lapse animation uh, and as you can see from here you can zoom in you can zoom out and the animation changed from 1984 all the way to uh, 2010 uh, 2020 and this is uh, the normalized difference water index uh, as you can see from the settings in here uh, we use a space of uh, uh, 0.1 so basically uh, this it calculates the uh, normalized difference water index for each year and then uh, because the value range from negative one to one and usually close uh, the uh, for water pixels um, the normalized difference uh, water index will be greater than zero and if you change a, a slightly larger than zero uh, values you will be able to extract water uh, this is not perfect but um you it, it, it can pretty easily can extract the water but it might also include some uh shadows and, and, and others but um you will see here very pretty close uh, that you can show the changes of the water uh, in this area you can also change for example you can if you if you're interested in a uh, vegetation you can click the vegetation this will automatically uh, switch to uh, near infrared and the red band uh, again you can adjust the parameters and you might want to change the color for example to green so it depends on the feature or the index that you are interested in you might want to change the color so uh, green color usually is used to represent vegetation and blue color uh, used to represent water again the background here will always be in black color um if you want to you can also customize the background color but you will need to uh, run the source code uh, i don't provide an option in here but actually you will be able to uh, change the color if you want so uh, if you go back to the end here uh, if you look at the source code so this is where you can customize the background color so by default it's going to be black you can change to white if you want uh, so the last three parameters in here is where it's controlling how to generate the normalized difference index so this is the threshold and also what kind of bands uh, the two spectral bands you uh, you want to use uh, so you will see from here there's these two uh, first band and second band so the value come whatever you are selecting in here will be in uh, so those are some of the uh, six uh, indices you can choose you can also customize so when you customize you can select any um, uh, spectral bands you want and then you would also calculate the normalized different index uh, and you can adjust the space all okay um i think that's all for this uh, tutorial if you enjoyed this video please uh, consider hitting the buy that, uh, button and subscribe to my channel hope to see you in my next video take care bye bye